Hello everybody, my name is Brian McGann. I'm one of the authors and instructors here at i &E. And in this short video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the configure replace feature in order to save yourself some time when switching between initial configs for your routers and switches. Now the config replace feature is essentially a feature that's relatively new in iOS that allows you to take a previously saved file and then replace the running config with that file. Now the reason that you might want to do this is that it's generally going to be much faster when you're trying to erase and reload your routers or your switches in order to get them back to a blank configuration or when you want to switch between initial configs. So it's basically going to allow you to do a, sh a snapshot of the config and then quickly roll back to it. Now from a documentation point of view, this is listed under the Managing Configuration Files section under the iOS documentation where specifically if we take a look at the documentation site from the main select your product uh, website we're going to go down to products and then ios regular ios ios 15.3t and then once this page redirects we're going to go to the configuration guides and then down towards the bottom under system management and then under Managing Configuration Files, and then finally to the Configuration Replace and Configuration Rollback. Now, I'm not going to go through the details of the individual document here, but as a reference, you may want to take a look at this later to see what are the other features that are available other than just what I'm showing here with the basic config replace. Now, the first step when you're dealing with your initial configs, of course, is to get the initial config files. So within the scope of our Routing and Switching Version 5 workbook, on the member site, you're going to see this under the table of contents, under the workbook, under the RNSV5 topology diagrams and initial configurations. So from this page, if you click on this resources button on the right here, under hardware configuration, the initial configs is basically a zip file that's going to have all of the initial configs that you would need to go through. So if you look in here, you'll see that there's a lot of different files and if you're constantly erasing and reloading your boxes or your routers and switches, then it's going to take a lot of time in order to switch between them. So basically what you want to do is you want to take the initial config archive. So I'm going to open up my files here to the actual initial configs. And then I'm going to open up my terminal window. So specifically in this case, I have a rack rental ske uh, session scheduled that is for routing and switching version 5. And you can see that to get into it, I'm just going to tell that to racks.ime.com. And then it shows here my particular username and password. So if I open up my terminal window, I'm telling there to racks.ime.com, just regular port 23. And in this case, it said that my username was... Uh, my username was rs5rack3 with this particular password. And then it's going to bring me to this menu that shows what are the particular routers that I want to connect to. So let's say, for example, we want to go to router 1. And when you re rent the rack, you should see that the router's config is going to be blank, pretty much other than a host name. So if we just look at the show run output, we can see that there's pretty much nothing in there other than just the, uh, the host name configured. So the first step that we may want to do here is take what's essentially the blank configuration on the router and then we're going to write this to a file in Flash. And the reason why is that if at a later point we want to roll back to this blank configuration, we can quickly do that without having to use the control panel or without having to manually erase and reload the router. So to do it this, it's very simple. We're just going to say that we want to copy the running config and we're going to copy it to a file on Flash and we'll call this our blank.config. So the actual naming convention doesn't matter. You can call it whatever you want. But if we now look at the file system, let's say dir star.cfg, we can see that we have that blank config file. Okay, next I'm going to pick some random initial config to load. So let's look at the initial config archive, and let's say maybe we're doing basic BGP routing. So under basic BGP routing, I'm going to grab router1's config and just take this text file and just drop it on my terminal, emul terminal emulator and I'm going to click on Send ASCII. This is basically the same as just opening up the, the file in Notepad or your text editor and then pasting, pasting it in. 
So if we now look at the show run output, we can see that there's a number of different changes. We have like a DMVPN network pre-configured here. We have some IP addresses pre-configured. But now what I'm also going to do is to copy this config to Flash, and I'm going to give it a new name. So let's say I'm going to call this simply the basic BGB routing. So we'll say copy the running config to Flash, and we'll call this the basic.bgb.routing.config. Now at this point, if we look at the file system, we can see that there's two different files in there now. If we dir star.cfg, and if I want to switch between them, instead of erasing the config and reloading, waiting for the router to take maybe five, 10 minutes or more in order to fully boot, and then pasting the config back in, what I can simply do is to say config replace. And what do I want to replace the running config with? I want to replace it with a file on flash that's called blank.cfg. So it's going to say, do you actually want to do this? Because it's going to replace the entire config. In this case, yes. So it should take a minute. And what you should see ultimately is that it says that the rollback is done. Now, if you see that it goes through a number of passes, and then it says it has to abort for some reason, maybe there's some config that it wasn't able to roll back, you can manually go into global config and then remove whatever the errors are and then try to do the rollback again. But we can see now what the main difference is going to be if we now look at the show run output. We should see that it basically it's going to fall back to what our original initial config was. Now, since I still have that other file in there, if we look at the dir star.cfg, I can now fall back to the basic BGB routing if I want to. We just need to say config replace on flash to basic BGB routing.cfg. Do I want to roll it back? Yes, I do. Rollback is done. If we now look at the show run, we can see that that config is fully loaded there. So we can see this is just one of the methods where I'm taking the file and then basically just pasting, in, in, pasting it into the console. Another option here would be to take all the files completely and then either TFTP or FTP them to the router's flash. You could ext extract the entire zip file onto flash and then you would just have to choose what's the particular directory and what's the particular device name in order to roll back to that initial config.